setting the benchmark for this sector. So right now we have six different marriages. First of all, it's great to be back into the Boston market. You know, many of you know Boston is really the heart of what is the number one Jeep market on the planet. The Jeep brand performs exceptionally well in this marketplace. I think it has a lot to do with the product, but also some really world-class dealers that we have here. So it's great to be back in, in the Boston market. I'm going to give you a quick update on what's the latest with the brand, what's going on with the brand. Then we're going to get down to business and talk about the all-new 2017 Jeep Compass. Uh, first of all, the brand update. We finally just closed the books on 2016, and 2016 marked another phenomenal year for the Jeep brand. In fact, seven consecutive years over year-over-year -year growth, five consecutive years global sales records, and three years in a row we've exceeded a million sales globally. In fact, the North American market for the first time ever sold more than one million Jeeps across North America. So a huge accomplishment for the Jeep brand and phenomenal growth over the last several years. And many times you get the question, what is the secret? What is the recipe? Frankly, I don't think that there is any secret. It's exactly what you see here. It's about the product. That's what it's about. It's entering new segments with new models. It's also communicating with your existing owner base in the proper way. But a very proactive product lifecycle management is really the key. So the most obvious thing that would drive your business, that's exactly what we've done. A couple of examples of that. Last year marked the first full year that all new Jeep Renegade was in the marketplace. Not only was it number one in its segment, and it's been an absolute hit in the marketplace, I think even more importantly is who is the customer for that Jeep Renegade? Over 80% of the buyers are new to the Jeep brand. Over 25% of the buyers are millennials. 10 points over the industry it indexes. Why is that important? We need to continue to grow the brand. We're gonna to continue to bring product offerings in. Now that serves as the entry level and there's a number of really great options to continue to grow with the brand over the years. Also last year, talking about products, the Grand Cherokee, most awarded G uh, SUV ever, the most capable in its class, the most luxurious in its class, and guess what? We built on those product attributes. So the full line of a Grand Cherokee was refreshed for 2017. Here we have the Summit model, the most luxurious, the premium, the flagship, if you will, of the lineup, and built on that with an all-new fascia, new grill, and an all-new interior featuring the leather wrap package. So we took what was the most luxurious SUV in its class and built it and made it even more luxurious. Capability, clearly the cornerstone of what Jeep stands for in the marketplace. All new for 2017 is the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Instantly recognizable by the red tow hooks, the anti-glare um, hood decal, we took the most capable SUV and really built upon that and made it absolutely the most capable Grand Cherokee ever. You know, we're very proud of the fact for a number of years, the Grand Cherokee was the official vehicle of winter. We had a little bit of a dry spell the last couple of years. I can tell you that there is gonna be no more capable winter vehicle than this piece of hardware you see right here. We're really excited about bringing it to the marketplace. And quite frankly, as soon as we launched the 2017 lineup, these two trim levels right here represented over 20% of our sales right out of the gate. So they were an absolute hit, extremely well received in the marketplace, and continue to expand and broaden the demand for the overall Jeep brand. So we're really, really excited about the future. Um, the real reason we're here though, is to talk about 2017 and what is the latest news. And certainly the big news is right behind me. This is the all new Jeep Compass. Now, the Jeep Compass is important for a couple of key reasons. First of all, 
this is one of the very few segments in the marketplace today that continues to grow. Globally, the segment last year was around 6.3 million units. It will grow to over 7.5 million units by 2020. The U.S. industry, which is predicted to be relatively flat over the next couple of years, the compact SUV segment is forecasted to grow over 10%. So we truly think that this is the right Jeep at the right time. Furthermore, this single nameplate will replace the existing Compass and Patriot that have been in market for the last 10 years. These two nameplates have performed exceptionally well, making up almost 25% of the segment last year alone. So in spite of that great performance, we knew it was time for the next generation compact SUV, and we've consolidated that, consolidated that to a single nameplate, and that is the all new Jeep Compass. This Jeep Compass is built to be a global Jeep. As you know, Jeep is expanding across the globe. This vehicle will be built in four different countries, four plants, have 17 different powertrain combinations to meet the needs of those local markets, but while at the same time being able to meet the demand here in the U.S. That is important to us. This is our primary market of operation, but we still want to continue to grow the brand and meet the needs as the Jeep brand expands across the globe. And we truly think that we have a package that is uncompromised in this segment and will be the new benchmark. First and foremost, Capability. Again, that is the cornerstone of what all Jeep brand vehicles are. But in addition to that, excellent on-road driving dynamics, fuel-efficient powertrains, high-tech safety features, all of this package together in a really compelling level, I think is going to really set the mark for what the, the compact SUV is. First of all, let's talk about the styling a little bit. You see it's a huge departure than anything that we've had in the marketplace, taking some of the styling cues from the Grand Cherokee. Very similar, very traditional Jeep though. You instantly recognize it as a Jeep brand vehicle, yet also very distinctive. Hard to accomplish those two attributes. Many vehicles on the road today, they're distinctive, they're different, but they're hard to tell what brand do they belong to. From 50 feet away at any angle, you're going to know this is a Jeep product. So very premium look as well too, so some of that has to do with, well, the black roof, for example. So the gloss black roof on this limited trim um, is standard, but it also adds a very upscale feel to the vehicle. Some of the other design cues that are really unique to this and different than other Jeep brand vehicles and certainly other vehicles in the marketplace. For example, you have this really dramatic roof line here. It's accentuated by this chrome strip that, while it generally wraps around the DLO or the greenhouse of the vehicle. It, you'll see that it starts here at the, the rear view mirror, goes through the side, wraps completely around. It's a continuous line around the vehicle. Something very different but very distinctive and also adds to that premium feel. Similar to the Renegade, the product lineup is very simple. We'll have four trims of a Sport, a Latitude, the Limited you see here, and the dedicated off-road capability model, a Trailhawk variant. Now the Trailhawk, while they're all best in class capability, the Trailhawk really demonstrates that, not just visually, but the hardware is too. The Trailhawk will have a unique fascia to allow for best in class approach, departure, and breakover angles. Additional ride height, almost a full inch raised up over the 4x4 you see here today. Signature red tow hooks, of course the hood decal, but it really helps drive that unique personality of what each of these trims should be. They should stand out from the marketplace, but they should be distinct and unique from the other trims that are in the lineup itself. Now I mentioned the powertrains. There's 17 different powertrain combinations across the globe. <clears throat> Very simple though here for the North America and the US market. The engine, 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, 180 horsepower. On the four x four, it's made into a nine speed transmission. On the front wheel drive model, it is a six-speed automatic transmission, and both 4x4 and 4x2 have an available manual six-speed transmission. So a lot of options for those consumers. You know, manuals are not um, very prevalent in the marketplace today, certainly not in the SUVs, but many of our customers, they still enjoy driving a manual gearbox. So we do want to make sure that's important that we meet the needs of our existing owner base. They've told us time and time again, continue to offer a manual. That's a lot of people still enjoy that. It's, it's a class exclusive in many cases in many of the segments that we play in today. So we felt it was important to continue to have those wide variety of those product offerings for those consumers. Next, safety and technology. So 
We start again, the cornerstone is capability. The, the, this compass is built on the small wide platform which is really known for its stiffness and, and torsional rigidity. That's good for off-road capability, but also it helps with safety. 65% high strength steel was used in the construction of this vehicle, not only to make it stiff, but also to make it safe and comfortable and quiet on the road. The driving dynamics are absolutely phenomenal. As good as anything that, that's in the lineup and in the industry today. Um, class exclusive, active dampening shock absorbers. No one else in the marketplace has this as standard issue. We do on the Jeep Compass. So a very compliant, comfortable, quiet ride in a compact package that necessarily maybe wouldn't expect. Technology piece, the award-winning Uconnect system is the standard issue system across the Compass. But this is the next generation. So the top of the line, 8.4 inch screen that you see here today, the next generation, now you have swipe, pinch, zoom, just like your tablet, functionality on the screen itself. So we're really happy about the next generation of the Uconnect system. Also, another hallmark of Jeep, like the Wrangler, open air freedom, a huge dual pane sunroof, right here in the Limited, you can see very clearly for yourself, opens the cabin up. So you take a compact package and how do you open it up? How do you bring in the daylight? Well, we do it with a really large dual pane sunroof. So, you know, just a combination of product attributes that help us not only stay true to what is core to the DNA of Jeep, which is obviously capability, but it's also comfort, it's also fuel efficiency, it's also great on-road driving dynamics. There are no compromises anymore. 10 years ago, yes, a Jeep drove like a Jeep. They're a little rough. Maybe the fuel economy was a little poor, not anymore. Over 30 MPG in any powertrain combination. We haven't announced the final figures yet, but every single compass variant will be better than 30 MPG highway. So we think that we have the right package at the right time with the capability, the safety, the technology, um, and, and certainly the styling. I mean, very much Jeep, very much Grand Cherokee, but a really good combination and a compelling package. We will begin shipping the all new compass to dealers uh, at the end of the first quarter, uh, just in time for the spring market. So we're excited as uh, we move to the next 75 years. Last year was the 75th anniversary for the Jeep brand. Now we begin the, new, the next 75, and I think we're off to a great start with this all new Jeep compass. So if you have any questions, I'm gonna stick around for a few minutes. Please feel free to come up, take a look at the vehicle, and I'll be happy to speak to you, any of you individually. Thank you.